Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn Then Code. I am Rishika and today I am going to share all the tips and tricks that I have used while creating my GitHub README file that you all guys have appreciated so much on Twitter and GitHub and that motivated me to create a tutorial on it. So here I am today sharing all the things that I have used, all the tools that I have used to create such profile from scratch. So I have used the tools like Canva for creating images, GIFs and logos that are uh, available on my uh, GitHub profile. Then I have used Shield.io for creating social media batches. Then I have used GitHub workflows for things like real-time stats and uh, real-time feed posting. So let's first look at the profile and then we will go to how to create such profile. So here we are. This is my GitHub profile and you all can create such profile for your GitHub as well. So in today's tutorial, I will going to one by one to each and every component that I have included in my profile. And then based on your interest, you can choose whatever you want to have in your profile. So let's start with the first thing. So first I'm greeting all my visitors who have visited my GitHub profile. So I'm saying hello to all of them. So for now, I'm saying hi to myself. Then I have a social media batch uh, section and all these batches are real time and are created using shield.io. I will tell you how to create such batches for your profile as well. Then I have a banner and this banner is created using Canva. So you can also create um, a banner for free using Canva and you can add video images or GIF for now. I have included GIF, but based on your interest, you can add other media as well. Then I have a about me section and uh, I'm just giving a very brief introduction about myself as I'm currently working as a software developer at Linden. I'm very keen to learn new technologies that can build some really interesting projects. A very fun fact about me. Uh, I love to connect with people and to learn about their journey. And then I have my summary section. So this these are the summary section for all the things that I have done on GitHub and uh, I have summarized it in terms of charts and bar graphs. So you can also do this using GitHub workflows and I will tell you how. Then I have a streak section which is showing the number of streaks that I am currently having and the longest streak I have and the total contribution that I have on GitHub. Then I have the text stack section where I have shared languages, frameworks, platforms and other things that I have worked on. Basically all the technologies that I have worked on. Then I have a latest YouTube video section where all the latest videos that I post on my YouTube channel will automatically come here and listed here. So this is it. All the things that I have uh, shared in my profile are real time. And of course, in the end, I have connect with me section where I have linked all the social media handles that I own. And then these are all the basic thing that you must also have in your profile, the pinned uh, GitHub repos, the contribution in terms of heat map, then the commit histories. So that's it. This is my profile and uh, you can set your status. So for now, I, uh, I have set my status as exploring because I am exploring different things, different uh, domains. So this is my status and then I have my headline and all the basic thing that you can also edit and create a very impressive profile. So now let's see how to create it. First of all, to create your GitHub README section, you have to create a new repo. To create a new repo, click on this plus section, create a new repo. And in the uh, repository name, write the name same as your username. So I have already created one repo, so I will not be able to create another repo with the same name. So I have created one repo, but to add your readme file and to uh, decorate it, you have to create one repo with the same as your username. So this is this is my profile and here in the readme section, you can change all the things that you want to have in your GitHub profile and it will automatically come to your GitHub profile as well. So now just to edit it, go to your readme profile. So I will click on this edit button and then you can use all the markdowns that are there in uh, GitHub markdowns and use them to create your own readme file. So let's see all the things that I have added. So you can preview it also. So first I have the section, right? Greeting section. So what I have done for this is I have used this heading tag. So you can use HTML to create your readme file as well, right? You can use image tags, heading tags, paragraph, etc. But you cannot mix and match the GitHub uh, markdown and the HTML. So please make sure that you are not mixing them. Otherwise, it, it will not work. But individually you can use them so for now like i am using this header uh, this heading 
so i have just mentioned that hi i am rishika and then i have this image of gif that that waving hand right so this this is the first part a very simple one just a simple heading with my name and then the image you can download this image or you can have it from my profile as well so yeah this is the first section then i have the second section of social media batches and again uh, as i mentioned i have used shield.io for these batches so what you can do is go to shield.io uh, go to social and then here you can see all the batches that you can use you can use github followers github folks etc so let's say for now i have uh, i haven't added github followers right now right i have linkedin uh, twitter and youtube so let's say how to create a github follower batch so all you need to do is click on this github follower and then write your username so for me i am writing my username and it will create a batch for you uh, okay yeah so it so as you can see my followers are 26 right now and uh, shield.io has created this batch now i can copy the markdown cop click on copy markdown and then add this batch here and if you can preview so here the number of followers are also added so you can also create your badges uh, based on your profile it will you know run automatically and add numbers in a real time so this is about the bash then the third thing i have is this banner so i have created this banner using canva so you can also create one using canva this is just simple heading and all these things so for the animations you can use various animations like this right and then you can download it using this download thing right you can download it in uh, in png in gif and various other formats so once you have downloaded it you can add that particular image or gif in your section so i have added this gif of the motto that i believe in and you can add according to your beliefs then the third section i have is about me section so it is basically the html part only in the about me section first i have the heading and i'm keeping it very consistent with h2 only the same as i have used for my greeting right so first i have the heading then i have briefly introduced myself by adding the link of linkedin the company i'm currently working in then i have added all the text that i want to have in my about me section then I have my summary section and it is a real time section. So all the things that I do on my GitHub will automatically sum up and uh, will turn in, in the form of charts and bar graphs, right? So for this, I am using um, action created by this particular uh, user. And you can also use this particular workflow in your profile using a tutorial and all the links I will provide it in the description. You just have to follow the tutorial, how to add uh, a, a action in your profile and then you're very good to go. It's, it's very simple. You just have to change the username and add token, etc. And then you, and you will also be able to add action in your profile. So for this, once you have added this particular action in your profile, it will create a folder in this particular repo by the name of profile section summary output. And then you can add them in the form of links, right? So I have added this uh, four links. You can add more or less based on what are the things that you want to add in your profile. Then I have a streak section. So after summary, I have my this streak section as well. So for this, I'm using one API. Uh, the name of that API is GitHub Readme Streaks that API. And here you ha just have to change the username and um, all the theme or customization that you want to have. So you can mention in the in the in the API input, and then you will get the desired output. So that's about the streak part. Then I have my tech stack section where I have mentioned languages, frameworks and platforms that I worked on. So you can also uh, mention it in, in terms of icons or you can write it as well. So I have used icon using this repo. So this repo is particularly using, you know, shield.io only for creating such batches. And uh, to add it, you just have to copy paste this URL and add it in your readme section. So same as uh like i have added you can just add this url using the markdown of github only and then all these links will be added to your profile so that's this about the tech stack then i have the latest video section 
again it is a real time section so all the videos that uh, that i will upload on my youtube will automatically rendered here so again for this i am using an action uh, it's very easy to use and uh, there is a tutorial also to add this particular action on your profile and i will mention all the links in the description i am saying it again because i know that there are viewers who does not know what a uh, github workflow is github action is and how to add them in your profile so yeah like i will add all the relevant links in the description and it will be super easy for you to add them uh, in your profile so that's about the latest youtube video section and at the end i have the connect with me section so for this i have created this customized logo for me uh, for this i have again used canva i have simply added a logo by searching here so you can see you can search linden let's say and then you will get all the logos you can add linden and then you can change the color and you will get the uh, desired output so i have created all these icons for my profile in a customized way because i want to have this color code of this beautiful peach color that's why i have customized all the logos you can do that too otherwise you can simply download the logo from the net and you can add them so that's it for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching this video till the end i hope you have enjoyed it i have shared all the things that i have added in my profile and you definitely you can customize it based on your requirement and choices so yeah see you next time till then happy new year